One of the most common goals many of us have is to start eating healthier. And that's easier said than done. And joining us to help our taste buds enjoy healthier foods is Jerome Turner, the owner of People's Gym in Miami. Thank you for joining us, Jerome. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Jerome, Americans eat on the go quite often. Yeah. Probably not getting our vitamins and minerals because it's really not convenient. No. I noticed that you kind of came in with this bag right here. Is that a convenient way for you to travel with your nutrients? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, yes it is. So, you do like a Mary Poppins. So, 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 um, so just for today, uh, I would like to talk about how people can, now it won't be as healthy. You have to do m better planning. But I, I like to tell people, if you don't plan your food, your environment will choose your lunch. Your environment will choose your lunch. So if you look out your window and all you have is cheeseburger joints, then that's what you're going to be eating. So what I have in here is something simple. I want to show the people the containers, simple. This is like an egg salad with a little bit of kale in there, some grilled, ch some chicken, and some boiled eggs right here. Is it, would this be enough, for example, for a lunch? Well, uh, I would, it's, it, kind of it, small. It, it, it's small, but again, you can have different sizes depending on what else you have in your okay. goodie bag. Okay. But I want to show people how convenient and how simple it is. I want to sh eliminate excuses. That's I like what I would that. Like to do. Perfect. Yes. And what else I have in here? You want to know more? Yeah. In the goodie bag? Absolutely. We have berries here. I, I would choose berries. Berries is full of antioxidants, right? Berries is good because they're not high in sugar. Yes, they have sugar, but they're not high in sugar. And you need a ton of berries, like a good two handfuls to really, really spike up your insulin. And one more goodie thing I have in here would be a, a nice leafy green salad. You see how simple? Mm-hmm. These, these containers are, you can take them with you on the go, you can go and take them with you and okay. have fun and put your little ice at the bottom and so things won't be hot or whatever, how you choose. Well, Jerome, to be even more convenient, can we just like make that all into a juice? Uh, will we lose fi uh, fiber? No, 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 if you, if, you, if you put it in a Jack LaLanne juicer, yes. But if you blended it and drunk it all, no, you won't. Like a and Vitamix type of thing? Vitamix, Nutribullet, whatever, real simple. You can get everything you need on the go. Now, the thing is, because it's so real that, you know, not like a store juice, it won't taste great 30, 40 minutes later. The taste begins to go away and the juice changes colors because of the oxidation. It is real. So you need to drink it on the spot. Jerome, how do you make healthy food taste good? How do I make healthy food? Uh, a little pink Himalayan salt or Celtic sea salt, depending on what I'm cooking, whether it's scrambled eggs, whether it's steak, whether it's ground beef. Um, if I'm eating sausage, I would go to the butcher and get my sausage. So sausage comes with a natural flavor, so, do, so does bacon, right? You can use bacon as a flavor, um, as something to keep flavor. It depends on what you want. You can have a salad. You can put a little maybe avocado in there. You can put a sprinkle of a little salt. You can always use lemon, stuff like that. Okay, so you mentioned sausage, um, eggs, protein. That's a lot of protein. Is there, is it possible to overload on protein and turns into fat? If well, too much of it? Pr protein without fat turns into sugar. But the foods that I named come with the fat already connected. So if you're eating ground beef, you don't go, I know it makes sense to go for the 97% lean, 3% fat. I, it makes sense. But medically speaking, if you have protein, without fat connected to it. That protein won't digest properly and it will turn into sugar. Can you just add protein to your shake, your vegetable shake? Is that recommended? <sighs> the protein, the reason why I don't recommend the protein with my clients, and my clients are dropping 40, 50 pounds in nine weeks, that, which is two months. The reason why I don't, because um, most whey proteins, all whey proteins have soy. Soy is an estrogen hormone. And if your goal is to put on muscle and look hard and lean, you don't want estrogen. Okay. So, so that's, that's a, to me, that's a no-no. Fruits. People say, yeah, fruits are very, very healthy. They are. Okay, which are the healthy ones, and which ones should we stay away from? Okay, so all fruits are healthy. The key is, the question I know people want to know at home is, um, if I wanted to lose fat, what type of fruit should I eat? So if you want to lose fat, you will want to stick with something like pineapple because the enzymes from the pineapple burns the sugar or papaya, right? Okay. Or maybe a few berries at a time. Mm -hmm. But... Um, I wouldn't go for an apple, which has 25 grams of sugar. I wouldn't go for a banana that has almost 30 grams of sugar. Watermelon, which is high. Again, no fruit is unhealthy. It's not going to help the person burn fat because it's going to spike insulin. I don't care if it's man-made sugar, which is a soda, or if it's sugar from the earth. All sugar spike insulin the same. 
one of the biggest issues to be able to start a healthy routine, even oh. eating or exercising, is it starts right here. Starts in the mind. You it's have to a have behavioral change. How do you how do you achieve behavioral change? You have to have a plan. You have to have a vision. Um, when I lost my 60 pounds, I set up a goal. I told everybody that I know I see on a daily or weekly basis that I was going to drop um, 60 pounds, and so it held me accountable. So when I did want to cheat. I knew I had to live up to what I said because I got a big mouth, so I told everybody. But to the person that's not living my lifestyle, right, um, you have to have a plan. You have to have a vision, a plan, then you have to learn how to apply application. Without those three elements, it's going to be hard for a person to lose weight because distractions and frustrations and hurdles will come your way. So you have to learn how to deal with it. Well, I lost 30 pounds, and I, I made my why stronger than my why not. That's it. And that's how I overcame it. So I get it. That's what starts here. So once you overcome that, then everything else is kind of easier because you know you're going in the right direction. I would say, say I, I would say so. When you once you start seeing that you can tighten up your belt buckle more. Once you start seeing, once you start hearing more compliments from people and people start asking you for advice, mm -hmm. you know you're going in the right direction. And once that happens, I believe a person who don't want to go back to the right. old them. Really, really quickly, what final advice would you give the viewers? You should stay away from low carb diets. Whether it's low carb or high carb diets, they all spike insulin. Don't worry about calories, focus more on sugar. Remove the sugar. Calories don't cause diabetes, sugar causes diabetes. And remember, make your why strong. Yes, sir. Jerome, a pleasure as always. Thank you for coming by today. Thank you, sir. We've learned a lot as always. Thank you, sir.